Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR 2002 Championship both Race 31 and 36. We're going to Martinsville. Uh, last race was... Last race was a Lowe's. I ended up finishing second. Um, Grandpa Mario ended up winning that one. And, yeah, as you can see the points. I'm up by 854. Almost a thousand. We're trying to get that by the end of the season. That's going to be the goal. Not that long away. And Martinsville, we won here last time, so I'm a little confident about it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it with that third deal. Let's jump right into the paper clip. Welcome once again to Martinsville, Virginia. EA Sports is proud to present live coverage of today's Old Avenger 500. Martinsville is known for great fender-to-fender -fender racing, and the pit crews will be busy all day long. You're right about that. There are always some bent fenders after a race in Martinsville. The short, flat surface causes a lot of cars to get together out there. Most are unintentional, but I know a few guys who aren't afraid to get a friendly nudge now and then. Greg Bibble has had a great run so far. Tell us a little about what's going on with him. His team is on track and up several spots in the points. Alright, nice. Uh, set up. The only thing we're going to change to the car is it's already here for me, which is really nice. Uh, manual transmission. The tire presses are all the way down to 35, and the wedge is down a half round. And yeah, that third did the show right into Martinsville. And it looks like Casey Allen and Mike Skinner on the front row. Let's get rolling here at Martinsville. Let's see if we can go for the sweep. And run away at Martinsville. Here we go, green flag, buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go racing, boys. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, really tight going to the first corner. Where is the mirror? Was it turned on? And just like last time we were here, you can really floor into the corner and make it work. So, caution out already. I don't know what happened, but we already got a caution. I didn't cause anything as we're already up half the field. And, oh, looks like it happened down in the turn three. Looks like somebody ran into the barrels. Hopefully we get down there in time to see who it was as we are coming to a stop. Whoa! Trouble behind me! You had debris flying all over the place. <laughs> looks like a Dodge car, probably Bill Elliott or somebody. And it looks like we're good to go. Let's see who that white car is on pit road. Maybe we'll find out who it is. Um, I don't know who that is. It looks like a white car in the distance, but anyway, we're going to relax until we go back racing. We're probably going to stay out here, so see you when we go back racing. Hey, down the back straight away. The pace car is going to hit pit rows. We're going to go back green. We're back to racing! There is debris on the track. Oh, boy. There is debris on the track, so we got to be careful. They didn't clean it up. I have a feeling we're gonna get another quick yellow because of it, so but we'll find out. So I'm just gonna stay in the racing line. Where's the debris? Oh, there it is! Oh boy, okay. Haven't ran into it. So we're gonna have to deal with the debris that's on the track. Haven't ran into it yet. As we're making our way up pretty quickly up to the field. I'm gonna try to stay within the racing line to not hit any debris. Oh jeez, almost got in the back of Kevin Harvick. Just trying not to hit any debris. But we're doing okay right now as we're about to crack the top 12. As we're just casually in the grass. We're probably going to stay up here where it's clean. Trying to, be, trying to be safe around here. Yep, there's some debris. Oh, great biffle. Kevin okay, the floor into turn one. Oh boy! Okay, just trying to run to any debris. Okay, there's the debris. I haven't ran into any yet, which is nice. Oh, there's some. I think we're going to pit next time by, as some people are already heading down pit road, as we're about to crack the top 10. We're going to head down pit road this time. We're going to be careful with the debris. Okay, obviously, I don't know what happened. All right, four tires of fuel. 
Let's hope we don't get a yellow. All right, here we go. Obviously, everybody's got to make a stop, but we're going to stick to our strategy, pitting that halfway just so we can make it to the end. That means I'm going to gain a lot of time everybody else as here we go, exiting the pits. What is going on? But anyway, let's see if we cycle out. All right, pits up a second. If the Kansas just throws it into turn one. We are in second place right now, but everybody's pitting. We should cycle out into P1. Lears on payroll. We should cycle line to lead. We got five laps to go. And there we go into the lead. And let's relax. Heading down the back stretch, coming to the white flag. Not a lot has happened. And yeah, the, the debris is still on the track as we got one lap to go. And Martinsville trying to go for the sweep. As you guys can probably see while the race is going, the, the, the debris is still on the track. But no yellow for that. We're still going. We just got one more corner here. And now at the final corner, we're going to take the win in Martinsville. Yes! <laughs> a little longer than normal ever since the early yellow, but we, we managed to get up to the field and win. Casey, that would finish the second. Good points for him, but he's probably low enough in the points. But we'll find out together here if I remember. But here to look at the results. For the highlights. Obviously, we sit through our strategy. We went on to win the race. I think that was the end. Uh, and. Well, that was. Oh, I messed up. Well, that was pretty much it. Right. Jeff Gordon finishes third, so we're going to gain. Uh, let's see. Casey Edward led 12. Jeff Gordon led 3. So that's 5 points. We're going to gain at least 20 points. So. But Casey Edward is going to get the same amount of points as me. Since he. He led the most laps. And finished second. Which. It's alright with that. And. Yeah. Let's go check the points. And yeah. I gained at least 20 points. I'm up by 864 now. Grandpa Martin's still third. And where the worst case yeah, we're at in points. He is now oh yeah, he's way far down. Oh he's 30th, okay. Okay, he gained a little bit in the points since he finished second. But yeah, I knew it was gonna be far down points anyway, but here are the awards after Martinsville. Got the all charged all charged up award. And yeah, that was my 14th win of the season, so it looks like I break the Martin Arrow record. All right, fellas. Well, next is Talladega. Um, in the career mode, this was the final race in the career mode. So, Talladega, we should do well. Uh, we did okay there last time, but this time we're going to be starting last. So, but we should do well anyway. It's Talladega. And Dale Jr. won this race in real life in 2001, so I would like to do him right here. But anyway, that's it for me today, fellas. I'll see you all at Talladega. And as always, have a good day, everyone. Take care.